Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hamna and I've created this space or rather I'm in the process of creating this space where I share all about how to be more expressive um, from your core and be able to create art intuitively and allow yourself to be the storyteller of your own life to understand the journey that you've been on the journey that you might want to take in future and just the journey where you are right now in the present so if that's something that resonates with you i welcome you here on my channel and i share a lot of videos and tutorials about how you can become really grounded be focused and center yourself using visual meditation because that's something that I've been doing for years and I have finally come to understand that I am ready to share it with everybody. So in this space, that's what my plan is to do. Having said that, I want to jump into the topic today, which is why it is so important to allow yourself to do nothing when you are a creative person. The act of doing nothing, so-called, is like a lot of people take it as um, creative blocks. Um, they think of it as a very negative thing. Oh my God, what is it? Um, why am I not able to create? I was doing such amazing work and suddenly I have nothing to do or I'm not motivated enough or I'm not inspired enough. And it's a lot of pressure on a creative soul because you are meant to be creating. You're constantly being, you know, in that, you know, the hamster ring um, or whatever the circle thing. You constantly need to want to create or they have to desire to create or keep going in that circle over and over and over again till you exhaust yourself. When you understand creativity as a process, you understand it's a language, it's the way you connect to your inner core being and bring whatever it is that it's inside of you, outside, uh, into the physical realm to inspire, to create beauty, to share love. Now, when you look at creativity as a way to perform, to um, constantly give, 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 do, 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 you're going to exhaust yourself. And that is not what creativity is. Creativity is something that it comes through the soul. It is very soul enriching. If you dig deep in your heart to understand that creativity is the process which allows you to have an expression that comes from the beyond and you are just the tool it passes through you to come out into the world. It is the language of the unseen that you have been chosen to deliver into the seen world. And that is what creativity is. So it's not something that is in your control fully. It is something that you have to practice. You have to create space for. You have to allow yourself to evolve, engage and express and experiment. And then only you can have that flow of constant creativity. And when I say constant creativity, it is so important to understand that you are not meant to be doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. You are meant to bring in the different mediums together what that does is so for example i want to get into the uh, serious part of it is when you are hit by a creative block right you are not inspired you are not motivated when that happens understand that it has a purpose number one right number two Allow yourself to sit in that whatever creative block it is that you're not being able to create and enjoy the silence. Enjoy the not knowing. Enjoy the not being able to create. That is your soul expansion. It no more wants to do what it is being asked to do by your ego or the society or the world or the people around you. Your soul gets awakened in those spaces, in those creative blocks, and it expands into seeing other ways of expressing itself. With that acknowledgement, if you fully let that absorb in you, you say, okay, I really know how to paint, right? For example, what if, what if, I give myself a chance to play with clay. So you start, you get a little bit of clay. You don't have to go crazy about getting lots of clay. Get a little bit of clay. Allow your hands to move with it. 
don't have an understand don't have a plan to end it into like a david or a massive beautiful sculpture you're not aiming for that you're aiming to allow yourself to be expressed through a different medium that is something that you don't know right so then you dive into it wanting to learn something that you already know which is painting and now you're diving into something that you don't know which is the clay learning sparks us energizes us because we don't know we don't know how we will perform or we don't know how it will turn out to be so we don't know so we go into a zone of not knowing which allows us to learn something that we will know in the future so now that you were an amazing painter then you've become this person who works with clay so one is engaging your mind and colors and shapes and forms and animals and patterns and abstract and all that sort of on a sheet of paper you're moving yourself into another medium which is clay which is more tactile which is moving upwards which is moving sideways so your body starts engaging and waking up at a different level and that is creativity from the soul you allow your soul to expand and be able to express through a different medium now when that happens and you go back for example you're doing the clay and then you're like okay and now what if what if i go back to the ceram uh, to the painting what that happens is painting and then clay and then clay back to painting fuses the two mediums together and as you fuse the two mediums together you grow within yourself your soul learns a different language a different way to express it and then you start bringing that in your paintings and your paintings become a part of your sculpture uh, ceramic work clay work and the clay work becomes part of your painting work and they both start communicating and when that communication happens between the two mediums through you you have expanded from your soul level and that allows the unseen to speak through you in two different languages so the more you give yourself the chance to expand and learn different mediums so like playing music maybe baking a cake maybe writing poems or whatever your heart fancies honestly the more different mediums that you do the more you will feed your creative soul the more you feed your creative soul the more you will dance through life and not just as a creative being but just as a human being you will learn to unlearn to learn and be unlearned again what i'm trying to say here is that don't allow the creative blocks to be something that is a negative thing in your creative life it is part of your creativity it is part of that soul expansion it is part of the space and time that gets gifted to us through um uh the universe to stop to evolve to grow and to allow ourselves to see more things that are available to us in this massive and beautiful way we use these things to create further more beautiful things so i hope that brings you some clarity and if you feel stuck or in any form or way um allow yourself to do these things and they will help you move forward um, before i end the video i do want to share something very quickly and that is when you are having a creative block try to avoid going through other people's creative um processes or um instagrams or please do not do that that is really 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 a big no the reason i say it's a big no is because it will make you even more insecure what it does is it does not inspire you it actually builds your insecurity even further you look at other people's work and you start going into this zone going I'm not being able to produce anything. I'm not feeling very motivated and look how wonderful this person is producing or oh my god, why are they able to create and I am not able to create? And then you get into the whole comparison side of things. You get very insecure. You start looking at your work with a very judgmental eye. So please don't do that. In your creative blogs, please do not look at other people's work. By any chance, you know, through your feed or Instagram or Facebook or whatever medium that you use, uh social media. And if something comes, 
turn your face away, move away from it. When you are in your creative mode and you look at all the inspiring other artists, you will get a boost of energy and you will actually rise with them. But when you are at like a middle uh, place and you look at all these people, you're going to always start feeling here. You're never going to feel here, right? So it's very important that only look at people's works when you are also in a creative mode, because what that does is if they are here, you are here, you rise together. But if you are here and they are here and it just doesn't, it hurts. It, it's it's not great for you. So don't do that to you. You know, I hope that makes sense, really. Because having gone through it myself, for years I've sat there looking at other people's work, especially when I have had creative blocks or years and months and whatever, um, looking at other people's work and feeling insecure about my own self and judging myself for the work that I'm creating because it's not great. Um, and that really pulls you down into a space of not worthy, you know, um, and it's um, it's very difficult to get out of that place. So from experience, I say this, that um, try not to when you are in your creative blocks or modes where you are not motivated enough to draw or paint or create, please do not look at other people's work. Look at it when you are at the same level or maybe a little bit more creative in um, producing your work then it's fine so i hope that makes sense um let me know if that doesn't because i'd love to hear from you your suggestions your ideas it helps me to grow as a person and also understand different views um and perspectives because you know i mean there is no right or wrong in this this is just something i wanted to share because it has helped me hugely um and i'd love to hear what helps you when you are feeling uh, a creative block and how do you get over it so i look forward to hearing from you and your comments it's always nice to connect to people across the globe um, having the same intentions of becoming a better person and becoming a better creative being and allowing our voices to reach the people that they are meant to reach to so um I will be back with my next video, inshallah, and see you then. If you have a topic that you'd like to discuss or want me to share and talk about, please let me know, share it in the comment section, and I'll do my best and answer the questions whenever I can. Thank you everyone for watching and do like, share and subscribe and do click the notification bell just so that you can be updated about my upcoming uh, content. Take care and have an absolutely beautiful day with lots of love always. Bye-bye for now.